right, we're back at Pixar Fest. Let's hop right into it. Today is gonna be a very special day. Because today we're gonna be visiting a very special land inside of Disney California Adventure. It's time for us to visit a bug's land. This tiny land is almost as old as DCA itself. But it wasn't here when the park first opened. When DCA first opened in February 2001, this whole entire area right here was called Bountiful Valley Farm. And you guessed it, it was all farm themed. How fun! You can see some little remnants over here. You've got some citrus trees, and then of course there were rows of corn and neat scarecrows. And everybody's favorite part, a whole bunch of tractors. But not those tractors, not yet. Giant yellow caterpillar tractors. Seriously, like giant yellow Tonka truck looking bulldozers, earth movers, row planners, you know, things like that. There were bales of hay everywhere and little Tonka looking caterpillar toys for sale and you could even buy seeds how fun the bugs land show it's tough to be a bug was here when the park opened inside of that building but the back of it was covered with a huge bountiful valley farms mural and honestly even I at the time had no idea that it was back there well it wasn't very long after opening DCA that Disney realized that wineries tortilla making demonstrations ferris wheels and farms with seed carts literally weren't really holding the young Younger kids' attention. Couple that to the fact that grown up adults were saying, there's not really anything here for us either. No extreme attractions other than the one roller coaster with a very long line. And DCA knew they needed to have a little expansion. And so the idea for a bug's land was born. A tiny land. A land for little bugs and little tiny kids. Right in the shadow of the new attraction for adults. The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Of course now this is the Guardians of the Galaxy mission breakout. But back in the day it was the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. And Disney announced the Tower of Terror and Bugs Land at roughly the same time. The storyline is that as Disney Imagineers were working on reopening the Hollywood Tower Hotel, they discovered all these little bugs in their yard and decided that while we're waiting for this to open, they would open up that land to all of us. And so as we watched Tower of Terror go up in the background, we had our first brand new land open up at DCA. A Bugs Land. A beautifully themed land, all themed around Pixar's A Bug's Life. It was so beautifully done with Tower of Terror looming in the background. It was the first land at DCA that really felt Disney. It was also the first land at DCA that had any shade. And today the good news is that we're gonna get to know it a little bit better. But the bad news is the reason. You guys remember how they destroyed the Tower of Terror to turn it into a Marvel ride? You know, because Guardians of the Galaxy is Marvel. Well, bad news, bug lovers. Because Disney has recently announced that they're going to take a giant can of Raid and completely wipe out a bug's land. Raid? You heard me. They're going to be squashing and destroying all these little insects. Because they're expanding Marvel into the area once known as a bug's land. Now I thought bug's land was great when it first opened. Much better than the whole farm theme they had going. But it wasn't until I had a kid of my own who was old enough to ride all the little kitty rides in bug's land that it actually clicked for me like, oh that's what all this stuff is for. After that, I kind of liked a bug's land. It was pretty nice, a nice peaceful place to go, especially at night, but I gotta tell you, I definitely don't miss the Bountiful Valley Farm Tractor Show. You remember the Bountiful Valley Farm, George? Yeah. You remember what was in it? Yeah, seeds. Seeds. And what else? Bales of hay. Bales of hay. Tractors. Tractors. And no fun. <laughs> Now it's tough to be a bug, the show over here that anchored a bug's land, at least for adults, just very quietly closed up in March of this year to make way for a future dark ride, maybe Spider-Man? Ha, huh? tell me Flick, tell me what it is! Luckily if you're a fan of the show, it's tough to be a bug, you can still see it under the tree of life at Walt Disney World. But as for California, well let's just say it's gonna be tough to see it tough to be a bug. It's kinda weird because if you actually look around, there's still quite a bit of farm theming left over in the end 
entryway, if you will, of Bugs Land. Most of what was left of the farm has now become Mater's Junkyard Jamboree over there. But some remnants, like the old windmill, still remain. Look at there's Dot up there on the windmill. And if you look carefully at the windmill, you'll notice that the center of it is basically kind of like an orange. That's because it was all themed together with the orange trees up here on the farm. Oh. Ooh, there's still even a couple of tractor benches on some of the walkways here, representing the old farm days. Once this became part of a bug's land, they had all kinds of bug's life characters over here in between rows of plants that have since been relocated because of Cars Land opening up next door, but we'll see them later. There's really not much to show you in the front half of Bugs Land, especially now that it's tough to be a bug, it's closed down. It's mostly all flower beds now and actual butterflies flying around, so I guess it still fits the theme. Definitely a lot of bees and butterflies in here, but the main attraction for Bugs Land is this area back here, which is properly known as Flick's Fun Fair. Look, there's Flick right up there on top of that giant pencil and straw. This is where if you keep walking, even someone as gigantic as George shrinks down to the side of a little bug. It's time to go to the fair, George. We'll just follow the signs. We want to bug you at Flick's Fun Fair. <laughs> Ooh, look at this right here. This box of cowboy crunchies knocked over on its side. It's the gateway to the bug's world, George. I always love that it's basically a giant cereal box popped over on its end, much like many of the things in the movie A Bug's Life. Makes it even better that it's Cowboy Crunchies because then it tied into the whole Toy Story 2 thing, you know, all the Woody merchandise, Woody's Roundup. Woody's Roundup yeah. Smile every once in a while, George. Come on, you're on television. Look here on the inside of the cereal box. Remember when the inside of cereal boxes had all kinds of cool, fun stuff you could cut out? Well, this one has a great price. You win a trip to the fabulous Flix Fun Fair right this way. Notice the leaf lights in here. Oh, that's just the beginning. Right when you walk in, you feel so small, like a little bug. Gigantic plants tower above you. They even tower over George. Look how small he looks. Hi, George. The giant clovers are everywhere overhead. And my favorite part is all the little firefly lamps all throughout Flix Fun Fair, shedding their glow upon all the happy, smiling guests. Look at it. It's amazing. Everything is super duper upscaled. Like look at this bench made out of gigantic sticky looking popsicle sticks. Oh, I wonder if there's still any flavor left. Lemon back sweat. Oh, delicious. Oh, you really ought to try some, George. Oh, You're sick, man. Delicious. I've always been impressed with the theming here. Look at this. The restrooms building is actually made out of a giant facial tissue box over here. See the tissues right there above the hole? See how the front of the building is all this cardboard texture here? This is gonna come in really handy on the last couple of days of Bugs Land because if anyone cries, they'll have their tissues ready right here. Plus, it's always handy to have some tissues around when you go to the bathroom in case they ran out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just, just in case. Oh, fun for the whole family. Now, a Bugs Land is just a little bit cartoony, just enough Pixar lookingness mixed in with the real world, like all the plants over here. There was a sort of similar land at Walt Disney World where they had the Honey I Shrunk the Kids play area for a long time, but that was much more gritty and realistic looking like that movie. This is slightly more idealized and cartoony and sort of Pixar feeling. Take that giant sprinkler back there, for instance. We used to have one of these attachments for my grandma's hose and water the whole lawn with it. Looks realistic, but still cartoony. You know, it's funny as a lot of people think when they see it from the wrong angle that it's actually a giant band-aid. Imagine that, a giant sticky used band-aid. Nope, it's a hose attachment that's helping to spray water on all these fun-loving, adventurous kids. Now besides the central water play area, Flick Fun Fair has four supremely fun rides, George, and we are gonna try to ride them all. Starting with the ride themed after the man himself, Flick's Flyers. Would you look at the shine? of that button. No! Would you look at the size of that paper airplane? Oh, who folded that? That's amazing. And along with big paper, you've got big pencils in here acting as the little floor lights for the line area at night. Listen, do you hear that noise? It's the bugs. 
They're here! The bugs are nearby, George! Don't worry! Alright, this is it. Flips Flyers. If you look carefully, all the ride vehicles that people are sitting in are all themed as animal cookies or applesauce or raisin boxes, even Chinese takeout right there. And they're all attached to inflated little hot air balloons made out of leaves. You can see in the center there, there's a pie tin. There's all kinds of elements of the real world. Like, how would a bug actually create a ride? A lot of people criticize these rides for basically being off-the-shelf carnival rides for the little kids. Which I guess they are, but you gotta admit, Disney did a pretty good job skinning them with all kinds of awesome theming. Woo, kind of a long line for flip flyers. But don't worry, George, it's totally gonna be worth it. You're gonna love this. Look at all the roots and giant pebbles. I really feel like a little bug, especially if you're a kid, you're short like this. You feel like you're a tiny little ant, a beetle, an insect. All right. Just waiting for our turn now. Look at this. I love the straws in here. Everything in Bugsland is kind of made out of something else. Oh boy. This looks like it's gonna be pretty fun. Can't wait for our turn. Oh, look at this. A super snack pack. Check this out over here in the middle. All these wooden spoons from those old ice cream containers. Oh, George, you getting a snack pack, bro? A super snack pack? I'm a little hungry. Oh, 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 look at us. Buckle up. We're like bros. Buckle up, buttercup. This is that moment where dudes kind of space the legs out. Like, no touching. No touching. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here we go. We're lifting. We're lifting. Oh, we're turning. Whoa. Whoa, we've been lifted into the air. This is amazing, George. We're flying. Wow. This is awesome. Normally I'm afraid of heights. But with George here to protect me from them, who could be afraid? Oh, look at the Whippo World. Pretty cool view, I've got to say. This is actually a lot of fun. Oh, wait a minute. It's over. It's already over. Oh. That's it. Quick flyers flew by so fast. That's okay. Still three more rides to go. Mm, gotta get me some of that pie next time. Oh, look at the other ride vehicles. The Raisin Box. The Chinese Takeout. Hey, hey, I want a Chinese Takeaway. Hey, hey. Woo, woo, woo. All right, right out of the exit, we hit our next ride. Francis's Ladybug Boogie. This is definitely George's ride. Not only because George basically is Francis. You know, the cranky, extra manly little ladybug, but also because George loves vinyl. And look at the sign here. It's like an old 45 with the adapter for the record player on here. George is Francis. Oh, so he's definitely going to get a kick out of this. Look at this, surrounded by giant straws and more of those cocoon leaf-like things over there are Francis the Ladybug vehicles. And just like a record, they spin us right round, baby. Right, right, round. Whoa, Francis's ride is very popular. These lines are all much longer than I was expecting. Oh, don't look over there. That's a spoiler for our next ride. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's our turn. Look at this. We have to find a ladybug. Quick, George, find a ladybug. Find a ladybug. Look at this. It's just like a teacup. Get in, buddy. Get in. I am so excited about this. Why? Because we like you. All right, here we go. Get ready to boogie, George. What are you doing? Playing with a cap? Spin the ride, buddy. As you can see, just like the world famous Disneyland teacups, we are in a Francis the Ladybug cup. Spinning around. It doesn't, it doesn't spin the ride. What are you talking about? It's just to hold on to. Oh, ours doesn't spin. What a fun one. Well, it's probably better that ours doesn't spin because I'm actually not supposed to be riding rides right now with the whole post-concussion syndrome. Yeah. This is probably as extreme of a ride as I can do. I don't like this at all. Come on, George. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Please pay seat. That's about it. Stops. It was that they quick. Huh. You're making the same we'll face as the ladybug. Francis. See, See the grumpy face? <laughs> Another grumpy face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too good. How do we get out of this thing? <sighs> Goodbye, Francis. I admit, I didn't ride you that much, so I won't miss you that much. But now I'll miss you a little. Wait for me, George! Well, there you have Make it, everybody. Sure safe. Francis's Ladybug Boogie. All right. Now you'll notice right out of the exit to that attraction is this. It's the other side of that water playground. They're divided by bushes into two separate playgrounds. This side's my favorite because it's a giant hose and spit. 
drinking it. Oh, how many times in summer days of yore did I drink from a spigot just like that one? Look, George, hose! It's a giant hose-themed bench and hose-themed exotic drippery. How fun. And my favorite part of the whole hose playground side is that it was always the way I located the lucky four-leaf clover in a bug's land. Yes, sir, it's the only one of its kind and the only one guaranteed to summon leprechauns. But only on certain days of the year. How you like in Bugs Land so far, George? You know, I'm starting to notice a trend. Whenever you invite me places, it's to places that aren't any fun at all. Well, wait till you check out this next ride. This ride is going to be a whole barrel of fun. It's in the giant circus tent so huge it's worthy of P.T. Flea himself. Prepare yourself, George. For the ultimate ride. Tuck and Rolls drive them buggy. See, tuck and roll up there. Well, they've got their own bumper car operation going in here. And George and I are going to take a ride. Look at that tuck and roll thing. Bumper cars, George. You ever ridden a flea before? Of course not. That's something you can only do at Disneyland, where dreams come true. Oh, look at that. More cardboard theming on the walls. Like we got some cardboard box here. Look at the fan, made of leaves. And look at that. A compact mirror complete with makeup. That's how George gets his amazing contour. I love the giant Christmas lights, the giant Q-tip over there, and of course, the giant Crayola crayon. Everything is themed. Oh, by the way, when we're driving these bumper cars, don't bump each other against the rules. That will be not bumping. That will be no fun or laughing. You will drive like a responsible citizen. Yeah. Oh. There they go. They're having a fun one. That's going to be us any second. Look at all the motion. These people aren't even moving. What? They're not even moving over there. Let's go right here. It's especially having a good time. What a fun one. Oh, she broke free. She's moving. She's tearing down the... Nope, she's stuck again. Never mind. Oh, we're moving. Ooh, it's our turn. Oh, they gave us little triangles to hold on to to show that we won't fit together. We need our own cars. To show that we're a part of the Illuminati. What? My mom will be so proud. All right, time to grab a car. Grab a car, George. Ooh, and here's my flea. Ooh, sweet driver pedal, sweet other pedal. I doubt that's a clutch. I don't know what that is. And a sweet flea steering wheel. George looks so excited. All right, here we go. We're off to the races! We're making our way down the thing, trying not to get bumped by any intruders! <laughs> There's a lot of bumping up here! My bug is laughing, we're gonna try and squeeze go, through the gap! Go, 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 no, go, 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 go. I'm trying to go, I'm trying! <laughs> Why is the little flea car laughing at me? I don't see George! Where's George? I think he's stuck back there! George! Hi, George! I'm having fun! Whoa! She's old enough to have a license. Yeah, yeah, I do. Whiplash! Whiplash! Watch out, sir! Watch out! Oh, you broke all the rules! Watch out for my fender! Hey! This guy's picking on me! Hey, watch out, flea brain! That's it! I'm gonna ram him! Oh, I got you! Or you got me! Oh! I guess that's it! You know what? I'm feeling pretty satisfied. The sign was accurate. <laughs> What a great ride! Ooh, look at this giant comb right here. It looks like a knit comb with this little uh, notice stuck in between. Oh, there you are, George. Did you have fun? You had so much fun! All right, if those three rides fail to impress you, then the last and final ride of Bugs Land is really going to knock your socks off. It's the best ride, I think, in DCA sometimes. The greatest ride of them all. Heimlich! Choo choo train! Do you like Heimlich? I love Heimlich! So I'm really looking forward to the choo choo train again! Now you've never actually ridden this ride before, have you? I've never oh, ridden Oh, you're rides. in for a treat! A tasty treat! Look at that fork with a cupcake right on it! Doesn't that give you any signs of hope, George? Huh? It's gonna be deliciously exciting! Hey, check this out! More pencils in the line! Look, George! You know what I'm doing? I'm erasing my memory. What'd you say? I was erasing my memory. I think I, I can't remember. I want to forget this too. Look at all the plants over here. Even Adventureland isn't so crazy jungly themed around the areas where people walk through. I love tropical plants. Especially tall bamboo and fig trees like that. I hope someday to have a backyard that looks like this. Well, I hope someday to have a backyard, period. 
first. <laughs> See, once again in the queue area, the children are smaller than these little walls of dirt with the giant pebbles in them, making them feel like little insects. Oh, look, it's Heimlich! I can see Heimlich through the bushes. He's actually here, George. Stop looking at your phone. Look at Heimlich. Wait a minute, if that's Heimlich, who the heck was that? Must have been his brother, Jimlich. All right, look, it's our worm. Sorry, caterpillar. I'm not very good with my words. Sometimes I get mixed up. <laughs> Prepare yourself for a good time, buddy. Oh, there's just a little room for us in the tail. Squeeze in, George. Come on, this guy. Make sure we buckle up. Come on, let's buckle. Friendship buckle. Now Can't get away from me now. We're stuck with each other. What? We're stuck with each other. Oh, friends. All right, here we go. We're gonna help Heimlich find something to eat. He's very hungry. Ooh, what's this? It's a giant carrot. Yeah, he doesn't want this thing. How about a nice giant apple? Tastes just like amber on a stick. Without the stick. Oh, <laughs> without the stick. But ooh, look at a giant watermelon tunnel. This is such a sweet and juicy watermelon. And it's spraying out watermelon smell. And it's dripping watermelon drip. Ooh, right in the neck, bro. Look, we avoided the Brussels sprouts and headed towards Candy Valley, right through the KC Junior Animal Cookies box. Look at this. It smells like animal cookies. Disney Magic, bro. I love the pink and white ones. Oh, those were good. You can never have those again. Cupcake. Ooh, candy. I'm like keeps burping. Ah, candy corn. Yum. Please, everybody, just stay seated while I stop and take a little break and digest all this food. Huh? I'll be back on my way in just a moment. Oh, we're underway again. And I think this is the loading area right up here, so... That was our ride on Heimlich's Chew Chew Train. Gives you some food for thought, doesn't it? Something to chew over. Friendship seatbelt off. Dude, what a fun one. Oh, Heimlich, goodbye, Heimlich. Thanks for the ride. He's so happy, he's full now. What'd you think, Ralph? It was pretty freaking awesome, man. Right? Come on, it was amazing. Best ride ever. We gotta go on again. Yeah. We gotta do it again! All right, that's pretty much Bugs Land in a nutshell. We've done all four of the rides. We've showed you the restroom, the old farm. Oh, there's only one more thing I almost forgot to show you. Just between Heimlich's choo-choo train and tuck and roll's little bumper cars is this walkway. Which leads to Cars Land. And in this area, just as you exit Bugs Land, are all the old school Bugs Life characters that used to be in the farm area before Mater's tractor jamboree thingy took it over. Look at there's the old Heimlich over there that had his candy corn and the rows of real corn. There's Francis, AKA Grumpy George. Here's the scary spider lady that I never remember her name because she scares me and I'm scared of spiders. Is it Rosie? Am I getting that right? I don't remember. And then on the other side of the road over here, we've got what I believe is Manny the Mantis and Gypsy Moth. I don't know if I'm getting that right. It's been a long time. That's right, right? I think it's probably, it, it might be right. Yeah, these characters were all in the entryway to Bugs Land on the other side in the farm area. It's kind of cool that they chose to keep them around out here in the bushes instead of just chucking them in a warehouse or in a dumpster. Ooh. All right, and with that, we've pretty much done it all. At the end of the summer, the giant can of raid will descend and obliterate all the citizens of Bugs Land, after which one giant Tonka truck will come and wipe the slate clean, leaving it open for Spider-Man, Captain Iron Man, Man, Iron Man, Batman, Batman other Man, probably some Looney Tunes, you know, whoever wants to get in on the act over here at DCA. But for now, at least during the first half of Pixar Fest, there's still one more Pixar land left to see. But hurry, because it's going fast. Unless, of course, you're watching this video in the future after Bugs Land is gone. In which case, hello from the past. Scare. George and I are gonna go ride Heimlich's choo-choo train again and again and again. But I think you guys have had enough. You've done your duty. You can go home and sleep well. You did it! High five! Sleep well.
to everything. Turn, turn, turn. There is a turn, turn. Sorry. You spin me right round, Georgie, right round, like a wrecking Georgie, right round, round, round. Turn around. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit hungry, but there's nothing left in me. In the fridge. Go to Taco Bell to get a chew for like a little chihuahua. Those are real words? Oh.